With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Gutom na kayo? Yet, you have so much work to do at walang mautusang bumili sa labas? Order na sa San Jose Bake Shop! Your reliable bake shop na nag-offer ng on-demand snacks. Masarap na, affordable pa! Birthday ng kawork mo, kami na din ang bahala dyan. We are the first bake shop in Cebu that have our own delivery fleet catering to homes and offices. Pay via COD or GCash. San Jose Big Shop. Masarap kasama. Messages now. Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Garbage truck sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo nga mupaingon sa San Roque, Dakbayan sa Talisay, di na pagiun. Sinulog 2024, pangandama na kung na nagyapon sa SRP, ipahigayun. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa sa CCTA News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Sugod karong adlaw, din ana sa pag-agi ang mga garbage truck nga gikan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo nga moagi sa South Road Properties diha sa Barangay San Roque, Dakbayan sa Talisay o Gupaingon sa Inayawan Sanitary Landfill. Gilidaan sila nga moagi sa daan sa Laray sa maong Barangay San Roque lakip ang mga tin wheeler truck kini base sa gipagawas nga resolusyon sa barangay San Roque nga gipada sa mga opisyal ngadto sa Talisay City Hall ilabi na sa buhatan sa City of Talisay Traffic Operations Development Authority kun City Tuda naghangyo ang mga opisyal sa maong barangay ngadto sa City Tuda sa pagpatuman sa maong resolusyon kini tungod sa himuon nga drainage rehabilitation sa maong nga lugar ang pagpatuman sa truck ban gihimo aron maminusan og kalikayan gayod ang pagbaha diya sa barangay kung mag-uwan. Matod ni City to the Chief, Joy Tumulak na nakahupot siya o kopya sa maong resolusyon na nag-request ni Mayor Gerald Anthony Samsam Gulias na mapatuman o truck ban sa mga garbage truck sa Cebu City kinialang sa himuon na drainage project. Cebu City Government adunay dulan sa 2.1 bilyones ka pesos nga pundo alang sa Special Education Fund. Si City Treasurer Marie V. Fernandez Reyes sa nahinabi sa mga tigbalita nagkanayon nga matagtuig ang City Government mugahin o kapin o kulang 400 milyones nga maoy 33.3% sa kratibukan nga makulikta nga buhis gikan sa Real Property Tax. Gitugaan sa City Treasurer nga didako na ang pundo sa Special Education Fund sanglit mas ubos ang gasto ni ini itandi sa kwarta nga nisood sa ilang account gikan sa real property taxes ang RPT gikan
gikan sa buhis sa mga balay, yuta, machineries, sama sa automated teller machines, elevator, escalator, ug uban pa. Mga tunghaan diya sa dakbayan sa Karkar o sa gihimo karon nga venue alang sa satellite registration alang sa umaabot nga eleksyon sa barangay. Ang kasayuran ihatod di Gian Navarro. Giulagway sa Commission on Elections Karkar City Cebu nga medyo mingaw ang nimungdagan silang voters registration alang sa barangay o SK elections. Sukat so, nga nagsugod sila ni atong Disyembre, ana alang sa 1,132 ang nakaparehistro na sa dakbayan sa Karkar. Gipaningkamutan sining election officer nga si Omar Mamalinta nga makaregistro sa ang ubang mga karkaranon karong kutob na lang sa Enero 31 ang registration period. Usa sa ilang focus karon mao ang sektor sa mga kabatan-unan aron makabutar sa sangguniang kabataan elections karong Oktubre. Mao nakahigayon sila sa pagparehistro sa mga tinunan sud mismo sa tungaan sa manalang nitong nakalabay nga weekend diin di paigayon sila og satellite registration sa Okanya National High School. But as the, for the meantime, uh, based on our data every day, doon ay gagmayra po nga ng parehistro. So muna nga, even if we have massive information dissemination in various types of media, no, apil na po ang social media like ang Twitter, ang Facebook, uh, Instagram, and YouTube, YouTube, and even TikTok, so muna nga, gagmayra niya po ng niyabil sa ito ang voters registration. Sa gihapon nang hatag sila o COVID essentials, sa mga nagparehistro, aron pa inumduman nga magmatngon bato COVID-19. Gipanghinaot nila nga karong usa na lang kasi mana ang nahabilin, modagan usab ang mga moapa sa pagparehistro. Ilabi na usab nga subsob ang ilang pagpaningkamot sa Voters Education Campaign diha sa syudad. Uh, since we have barangay as election sometime this year no so ni cater takay dako mangkud ang number of uh, uh, applicants no when it comes to the youth sector. So mo nang natay kanang gitawag nga sanguniang kabataan. So mo nang uh, gi-encourage pud nato nga mag Magpagayon tawag buto siya sa mga ispila. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Cebu City Councilor Philip Zapra, kinsa maoy sinulog 2023 Executive Committee Chairperson, o yun sa tinguha ni Mayor Michael Rama, nga diha gihapon sa SRP, himuon ang sinulog sa 2024. Apan mato ni Zapra, nga kung maugayon kini ang plano, gikinahanglan karon palagdaan, subda na ang preparasyon. Solusyonan ang mga nakita nga problema sa miaging sinulog nga may ani o mga pagsaway o guban pa nga nakaingon nga pag-atras sa daghang mga contingents nga muapil unta sa maong sinulog. Apil sa gikinahanglan nga sigurduhon mao ang venue tungod kay ang lugar diin gihimo ang sinulog 2023 gipanag-iyaman og pribadong kompanya. Mato ni Zapra nga daghan pa kayo ang ayan nga palambuon kon sa SRP gihapon ipahigayon ang sinulog sa sunod nga tuig. Lima ka mga barangay sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi gikatakda mo paubos sa deliberasyon sa PDA 7 alang na sa drug cleared nga barangay. Ang kasayuran ay hatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Gila uman sa Mandawi City Police Office nga mapunan ang mga barangay sa syudad nga madeklarar nga drug cleared. Matod ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Frank Rodolf Oriol, Deputy City Director for Operations o Tigpa Maaba sa MCPO, nga lima ka mga barangay ang gikatakdang mupaubo sa deliberation sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency sa Central Visayas, Karumbuana. Kini naglakip sa barangay Kambaro, Tigpolo o Glabugon. Ang kina natin lima na scheduled na unta na i-undergo o final deliberation na itong December, pero tumuso ang kakulian na wala tayong makonvene or na nalangan ang pagkonvene ni ni nga uh, pan lima ka additional na barangay along with other barangay sa Cebu City, Lapu-Lapu o sa Cebu Cebu province. So hopefully karong buwan na madayon na gyud ang kuan ka nang pagkonvene ni ni na committee. Ang um, sige na ana, there will be another five uh, job na uh, barangay dinhi sa Mandawi City na ma-declare nato as job fee barangay. So dako na kanang dungag no na sa ko ang mga tinguha sa so, dundo na lang. Sa kasamtangan, na po pa sa 20 city kabarangay sa syudad ang gideklarar nga drug cleared nga mawang mantuyong, basak, paknaan, kasili, tabok, opaw, bakilid, tawason, tingub o subang dako. Tinguha sa MCPO o sa mandawi nga ma-cleared na ng barangay aron ma-deklarar nga drug cleared city. Ang kining 12 na po, hinahinayan na po di karong pag uh, paningkamutan na po sa itong mga barangay. No, no, na ma-prepare ang mga documentations needed, dalabi na sa mga community-based rehabilitation program 
no natapos naman ta dili sa Mandawi City natapos naman ta na nata ka man sa preparation sa mga dokumentasyon so another or other mga documents needed nagirequire sa confidential Ang drug cleared barangay nagpasabot nga na account sa barangay ang ilang drug dependents og nakakompleto kini sa tanang interventions nga ilang gihatag Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News Nasikop ang killer sa Loto Outlet sa Panglao Buhol sa Bypass Operation sa mga sakop sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency sa Buhol Provincial Office. Inabagan kini sa kapulisan sa lalawigan sa Buhol. Nailha ng dinakpan na si Noli Clet alias Undoy, 32 anyos, o nakuha gika ni Undong ang mga pinakiting gituhuang shabu na nagkatidad o 442 mil kapesos. Lakip sa nakuha ang cellphone ini nga mo'y gigamit sa pagtransak sa illegal nga drugas sa mga operatiba sa PDEA o ang motorsiklo. Mato ni Lia Alcantara, ang information officer sa PDEA 7 nga gikan sa Osaka Confidential Informant ang kasayuran labot ni ini sa illegal nga kalihukan sa maong nga suspek. Maukad to atong mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ihan atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat.
of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul. And in this Eucharistic celebration, together with all our personal prayers and our need for constant strength to continue in our journey of the faith, let us also offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCT and through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. And also, since this feast signifies the preaching of the good news of the whole world, we also include in our prayers the unity of all Christians. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you. Through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew, born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them, I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, what shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, get up and go into Damascus and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Soul, my brother, regain your sight. At that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice, for you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Oh, 
Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus A blessed Wednesday to us, O Happy Fiesta. The Feast of St. Paul's Conversion is at the same time our own feast. It reminds us of the very moment, of the very significant segment in our lives when we we're not just only baptized in the faith, but when there is some kind of a change of orientation for the better. Because there are so many different orientations in life. I'm not talking about sexual orientations, however. There are so many worldviews. There are so many pathways that we may possibly follow, or we are actually following right here and now. But what is so interesting about this conversion of St. Paul is always connected with the way and a very interesting little detail of the history of Christianity is this. In the Gospels, in the New Testament, before it was officially called Christianity, those who believe in the Lord Jesus were called Christians for the first time, which was in Antioch, outside of Jerusalem. The believers, or the faith, described as believing in the Lord Jesus as the Messiah is called the Way. Ang Dalan. And this is precisely because since those who were first converts to the Christian faith belonged to the Jewish people or to Judaism, the expression or the distinction people of the way is a beautiful expression in order to distinguish the first Christians or the Christians to the people who is called people of the book. And people of the book are the Jewish people. 
those who follow Judaism. So in order to distinguish them from this uh, huge uh, number of believers during that time before Christianity became even bigger than where they came from. And so this is the significant thing about today's feast. It's on the centrality of the way. Because the way is understood from the very revelation of the Lord Jesus in the Gospel of John. He being the way and the truth and the life. And the way is not just something, the way that, that uh, we can choose like Muagita dito sa cyclex, muagita dito sa shortcut, o muagita dito sa, sa kinahigpitan, kina, kinasumukan nga, nga yuta, o nga dalan. But it is the way that has something to do with the life. Because the way, even from the very roots of Judaism, is concerned or he's talking about the law and the will of the Lord. That's why sometimes I always make this joke. If there is a, a will, there is a way. If, if God's will is for us and He has a way of touching us, there is always a way to do it. Usahin, maghisgo tagdalan, may ngumbuta. If there is a will, there is a way. No? Ug nailigid, naidalan. And that is what we actually do. No? Mudaganta, mulakauta, daghantang pagatumanon, daghantang pagasubayon. But then this way is the way of righteousness. It is not just a question of just doing good things. That's part of it. But actually, the direction and the focus that we have to make, bisan paman og ngit-ngit, bisan paman og daghang kakuyaw, we have to continue walking on the way. And by the way, it's very interesting to know that this fits very well with the synodality that we are reflecting these past few months and these coming years. The synodality where we walk together hand in hand. Or if sometimes we may be walking on different paths, at least we can hold hands together. We may be following separate paths, but if we are holding together our hands together, then the unity that we're talking about among Christians all over the world becomes a significant reminder that this way is for unity, that this way is for oneness, that this way leads us to the one God, who calls us and who sustains us every day of our lives. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord for changing Paul from a bold persecutor to an ardent apostle of the church. May the Apostle Paul obtain for us a heart docile to grace. And so we say, through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. That we may become a church that goes forth so that faith in Christ may spread to every corner of the earth. We pray. Through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. That like St. Paul, church leaders, and missionaries may do all for the sake of the gospel, so that all may share in its blessing, we pray. Through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. That St. Paul may obtain for us the grace of conversion from our principal defect, total configuration with Christ, and zeal for humanity's salvation, we pray. Through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. That for the sake of Christ, we may be content with weaknesses, hardships, and persecutions. For whenever we are weak, then we are strong with the power from on high. We pray. Through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. That after fighting the good fight for the gospel, the faithful may receive the crown of righteousness which the Lord has reserved for those who long for his salvation, we pray. Through the intercession of St. Paul, hear our prayer. O God, you chose St. Paul to be your vessel of election to carry your name before Gentiles and kings and before all peoples. May he intercede for us before you 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's also a great reminder that the conversion of St. Paul happened on the way when he was on the road to Damascus. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray. May the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. 
and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil and Ruben, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share with each other a sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. 
May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Act of Consecration to St. Joseph Church O Virgin Spouse of the Virgin Mother of God O Guardian and Virginal Father of the Word Incarnate In the presence of Jesus and Mary I choose you this day to be my Father, my Guardian and my Protector O Great St. Joseph whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, except me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy to be a member of your Holy House. Present me to your Immaculate Spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual Father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul, with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Holy Mary, Saint Joseph, noble offspring of David. Light of Patriarchs, Spouse of the Mother of God, Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, Foster Father of the Son of God, Zealous Defender of Christ, Head of the Holy Family, Joseph Most Just, Joseph Most Chaste, Joseph Most Prudent, Joseph Most Courageous, Joseph Most Obedient, Joseph Most Faithful, Mirror of Patience, Lover of poverty, model of workmen, glory of domestic life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, comfort of the afflicted, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the Holy Church. He has made him Lord of his household. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for grace amid transition. Altogether, almighty and ever-living God, we pray for the courage and compassion to embrace new beginnings and rise from any crisis. We continue to ask for your protection and guidance so that with your healing hand, we may overcome every effect of this pandemic and any other crisis that may cross our path. Guide our health workers so that your healing love and strength may flow through their hands. Guide our leaders so that truth and empathy may be the measure of their service. Guide our spiritual frontliners so that they may help us find fervor and courage to spread God's love and peace amid the chaos and suffering. May your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all, even during the dark times of our history. As we embrace this changed world and go into the future, we implore you to fill our hearts and be one with you more than ever. We look forward, renewed and strengthened, to celebrate for whatever lies ahead. For it is only by your grace, Lord, and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we can pursue all these 
endings and beginnings. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. excited about the bridge. I believe it has a lot of potential to improve the livelihood of the people in our area here. It's going to be a new icon for the Sport Cebu. There's going to be an ease of transport. CCLX played a huge part in our decision to launch our fourth condominium project in Cordoba. This is one of our pride to have the third bridge. Definitely this is a game changer for all of us. It connects communities, it connects cultures, it connects people, and of course, it connects relationships. I'm very proud that CISELEX is starting to make a difference. Gutom na kayo? Yet, you have so much work to do at palang mautusang bumili sa labas? Order na sa San Jose Bake Shop! 
your reliable bake shop na nag-offer ng on-demand snacks. Masarap na, affordable pa. Birthday ng kawork mo, kami na din ang bahala dyan. We are the first bake shop in Cebu that have our own delivered fleet catering to homes and offices. Pay via COD or GCash. San Jose Bake Shop. Masarap kasama. Messages now. For your printing needs, come to Stitches and Wear. We print t-shirts, jackets, towels, caps, factory, office, and sports uniforms, bags, embroidery products, mugs, umbrella, and other giveaways. For inquiry, contact Samson O2, General Manager, Care of Cebu Cube Ice Compound, M. Sinisa Street Extension, Kasuntingan, Mandawi City, Cebu. Telephone number 6332-268-0696 and 346-335. Eight. Cell phone numbers 0916-9263-5216-0922-890-3302 and 0917-631-3584 or email us at stitchesandwear at yahoo.com, stitchesandwear at gmail.com and summit2168 at yahoo.com.